everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. I'm just going to show you a few coasters that I've been working on. Um, I've been just really trying to get this technique down, the bloom technique, and so I was trying out these colors. I really, really like them. I think they're super pretty. Um, and I'll have those listed in the uh, description below as well as in the video. So I'm going to try today to do a painting like um, Karen Dershon from Waterfall Acrylics. I love her deconstructed blooms. Uh, so I am going to try one today. I, it was um, definitely a challenge. Uh, I was going to spin it out at first and then I decided that wasn't working so I tilted. So these are my colors. Um, got my pillow paint already. So I just want to show you kind of my setup. I got a new toy. I've actually had this spinner for a while. It's just a, I think it's a steel uh, cake spinner from Amazon. It was like, I don't know, 18 bucks or something. Maybe not even that. Um, I put a dollar store shower cap over top of it just to protect it. And I got this cool um, spinner attachment uh, from Leah Wolf uh, at Poppin' Pores Art. Um, her and I, I think it's her husband, uh, they do these um, retrofit uh, for these cake spinners in different sizes. So this is the big boy, the 24 inch. Um, and then she actually will get what spinner you have, what size, and then they make it for your actual spinner. So today I was gonna do a 10 by 20, and my 10 by 20 fits literally just inside there, um, but the corners are hitting the edges. So I needed to get it off of that a little bit. Uh, so I just had this wood round that I just covered with plastic wrap and I'm going to use that to spin this out. And because it's such a big uh, spinner, I got a puppy pool so that I could spin it out in the puppy pool. So I put that on my table, threw some tarp inside of it just to kind of keep it somewhat clean. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, work on this uh, deconstructed bloom. So these are my colors that I'm using today. The PVO Studios Iridescent Blue Green, Golden Fluids Turquoise Thalo, um, this little piggy pigment, Seaweed, and Twilight and the third one I'm gonna be using is ball gown. So all really, really pretty pigments. I'm excited this is my first time really using them on a bloom. So that's my pillow paint. It's the Glidden um, Premium uh, in semi-gloss and I just put in about a quarter cup of the GAC 800 to four cups of paint. Now, I don't know what happened. I lost some footage somewhere, but you'll see me layering these again. And I, just a disclaimer, you guys, I don't really know what I'm doing. And uh, my hair dryer work here is pretty atrocious. Um, but I guess you don't learn if you don't try. And so I learned a lot on this one. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to keep practicing this. Um, on this one specifically, um, I put the blooms, I think, too close to the edges. And um, when you put them that close to the edge and you spin it, like, I, I don't know, I had to tilt it a little bit because I had a lot of paint on there. And then once you spin it out, you pretty much lose the bloom off. And then I just kind of had some blobs in the middle. Yeah, you see how close to the edge I'm putting this bloom? That was not a good idea. It was too, I mean, if I was just tilting, it probably would be fine. But because I decided I was going to spin this one, it was not fine. So you're going to see me do some tilting or spinning and then try to tilt it back. And uh, it didn't work very well. So... Um, the more I tilted, the more I was kind of losing the blooms. And when I would tilt one direction, I'd lose it one, the other one. It was, yeah, it just was, <laughs> it wasn't working. Yeah, look, oh, this, 
this is pretty bad, this uh, blowout. I think also my cell activator was too a little too thick. I should have thinned it down just a tad. So now I am going to let you guys watch. I'll I'll give you a spoiler alert that I do I do try a third bloom in the middle on this one and that one did not work and then I scraped it and started over and um I just decided on that second one I was going to tilt. So this was super fun. I loved it. It was so fun to do something different. And yeah, I, I just, I had a really a blast doing it. So I hope you guys like what you're seeing. Um, if you like it, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you're notified each time I put out a new video. Um, and yeah, stick around for the end because I do show you the wet and I show it to you dry and it dried really good. And I really, really like how this one turned out. So I hope you guys do too. Okay, thanks guys for joining me on this journey and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.
Thank mm-hmm. you.